going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing Dragon Ball Super Broly. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button for tons of early movie reviews, movie news, geeky content, and of course you guys can also check out Sandwich on Films also down below for your guys' ways of getting into advanced movie screens and also check out some movie news. I've been very excited for this review due to the fact that well, growing up, I loved Dragon Ball, and I've still always been a massive fan of Dragon Ball. I haven't been a fan of Dragon Ball Super so much. I need to catch up on that show, definitely. But Dragon Ball Z is, like, my childhood. Like, purely my childhood. Every single time it was on Toonami, that's exactly what I was watching. My friends and me were into it. It was one of the first introductions I remember in first grade. I went over to this kid's house, and he introduced me to the world of anime, and I can always thank him for that. Wow, I've actually wanted to talk Dragon Ball on this channel, and even talk anime in general over on this channel. From my childhood on Toonami was blah 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 blah. Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto, and Zatch Bell. Mostly Naruto and Dragon Ball really being the two core cruxes of my childhood. A lot of you guys are probably saying, oh, well, this guy's only in the mainstream anime. Not actually. I, I'm just, that's what embraced me and got me into the world of anime and wanted me to love every aspect and appreciate it for what it is and even the different types of animation. I think this is the most underrated genre of filmmaking. With all that said, Dragon Ball Super Broly is a film that I was really excited for. One being, again, a big massive Dragon Ball fan. Two, I love Broly and I've always wanted him to become back into the canon. With the creators bringing him actually into the canon now, I gotta say this is hands down an awesome movie. And I'm saying this purely as a Dragon Ball fan, but also watching this movie, it's not just a pure enjoyment of it being a Dragon Ball fan, but you can also enjoy this film as a casual fan. I think a lot of the reason that it is that way is because this is actually a very well-made movie. The director who's tackled this film actually has never tackled any Dragon Ball properties before. Maybe he has, but on his IMDb, I don't see anything on that category. But the guy really directed it with style and with flair and something that feels like it's in the Dragon Ball universe but also into a different type of style. And it would be very hard for me to see any Dragon Ball fan or even casual or hardcore walk away from this film feeling disappointed. From the start to finish, there actually is a whole story and character arcs throughout the whole movie. It doesn't just feel like a one-off or a one-note thing that we're putting in here to show this story, but it really does leave open the world for more movies like this. And I'm actually curious to see if they'll pursue it more within the movie franchise or go back to having a TV show. Super was canceled, but... Again, I would actually prefer him to go more into the movie limelight because the audience, I went 9.45 a.m. this morning and my audience was sold out. This theater was packed, still massive. And you, can t and you could feel the energy of massive Dragon Ball fans being on there, wanting to unite and have fun watching this movie. In fact, saying this film is very well made. Again, from the direction in here where it has a story, it has a beginning and it has an end. And the beginning of this film really sets up, we don't see Goku or Vegeta for... Probably for the first 30 minutes, we don't see them. And I'll be honest, I was like, well, wow, they're going way back. But they're telling a story. And they're telling a story that makes you care about Broly. To a point where he's not just a one-note villain and this big, badass, macho guy. But he really is a compassionate character that you can understand where he's coming from. And also understand and care for him, not just as a villain, but as a person. This side of the story has his own motives for why he is going against Vegeta and Goku. You start to understand that, and I really like the director and the writers took that on board within this film. Really, you get to know a lot of sensations with the beginning of the Dragon Ball story. You get to learn a lot about Vegeta's father. You get to learn about more of Planet Vegeta, and you even get to understand more of Bardock for a sense. I always have this little thing where if we get more of Bardock, I, I'm always freaking out because he's one of my favorite characters in the Dragon Ball franchise. Really, I was very surprised to see how much they made me care about Broly, and I want more of Broly now. In a Dragon Ball film, you would expect some awesome action scenes, and I have to say Dragon Ball Super Broly has probably some of the best action in, ever seen in any of the Dragon Ball stuff. Um... Definitely, yeah. Th this is like top five fight scenes ever in any Dragon Ball. And it, it really is amazing how great the animation here. This The animation in here is some of the best animation, again, in any of the Dragon Ball franchise. And you can really tell a lot of passion went into making this film. The way that they intersplice 2D animation and CG animation blends perfectly together, where at times it makes your eyes like visually like, whoa, what is this? It's so different and unique. But it's so 
much better than anything that Dragon Ball Super had had recently, and I, I really was impressed to see how they intertwined it so well, and the way that it's so fast-paced and moved around the camera with the artistry and everything is just astounding. Really, each and every punch, you feel every kick, every moment, when they're getting strong, it is a fast-paced fight, and I get it, like, maybe it's not as emotional, like the Frieza arc, or say the Cell arc from Dragon Ball Z, but still... It's a badass fight. It's a fight that definitely will not let you down. Before I get to my final thoughts, guys, let me know what your guys' thoughts. Do you guys get to check out this film? Are you guys checking out? Let's talk about it down below. And who is your favorite Dragon Ball character? Let's talk about it. Dragon Ball Super Broly is everything I wanted from this film and more. It was badass. It had a great story to it, a great character arc for a lot of our characters within here, and it really furthered out the world a little bit more and introduced us to some new characters that I was a big fan of. Great animation that was interspliced and intertwined perfectly between the 2D animation hand-drawn and the CG animation, and it really, for once, I can really say this, that I think this is a film that is great for casual people, for hardcore fans, and I think if you've never seen anything Dragon Ball before, but you're kind of interested to see what it's all about, I think this is the perfect mix for you to kind of come in as a newcomer. You won't understand everything. I can say that the least, and I think that I, it's not really a con because Dragon Ball's been going on for so long, but I think there's enough explanation in here and enough setups, especially in the beginning, that doesn't feel like it's exposition heavy. Perfectly told as a well-told story that even newcomers can kind of get their taste of Dragon Ball, maybe you want to go back and visit everything else from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball GT maybe, and even Dragon Ball Super. This is one for the books, and I absolutely had a blast watching this theaters. Go check it out, guys, if it's in a theater near you. So with all that said, I'm going to give Dragon Ball Super Broly an A. What guys' thoughts are on this film? Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Let's talk about it down below. And what's your favorite Dragon Ball character? I already mentioned it. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys again for watching this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Check out Sandwich on Films, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy.